Yeah, me, me, me personally, uh, this was my, I was in fourth year this year, so very busy with dissertations, uh, you know, coming up trying to do really well in, you know, a really important year. Uh, it was also my first year as cost head uh, in cost, so the, the lot of work doing all of uni, as well as all this learning and all the work that goes into forming a student, you can get quite a lot and you get quite burnt out. Um, so just having people there to support you, people in the team that you can speak to and get them to help you with things uh, really helps uh, keep you going because uh, otherwise it, you can feel quite alone if you just sat doing it yourself in your room watching lectures online so having people that you can speak to is important. For me I reached my limit at competition with lack of sleep and I know it's so important and you, you feel so passionate and dedicated about trying to get this car out but it becomes, it becomes dangerous because I could barely understand what people were telling me at that point. Um, sort of. So I think it's really important that you try and get your sleep. And I think also because I was so passionate about it throughout the year, I think I was probably quite an aggressive team leader. Um, and I think if I were to be able to go back and tell myself, I'd say everyone's putting in the effort that they want to put in and that's absolutely fine and you should never shout at someone because they didn't commit you know, 16 hours every day for the, for the whole time. Well, yeah, I think I can speak for everyone on the team once again and say like everyone's definitely dealt with extreme stress over the past like 10 months with Formula Student and like it's been really hard, especially because a lot of us were final year students. So we were balancing like trying to finish our degree in the best way possible and get this car to the competition get out on track and both balancing both of those is a very very hard challenge but it's possible and a piece of advice i'd give is although you are going to be very busy or we were very busy just really try and prioritize like having some downtime occasionally because that's yeah. how you recover that's how you get yourself back Definitely. up to a condition to be able to work hard but if you just constantly although like you will be getting your job done or you'll feel you're getting your job done if you're constantly just working flat out you'll struggle a lot and the stress does build up yep. so sometimes downtime is defo definitely the best way to try and ease things a little bit get your mind at ease and get yourself physically feeling well as well so yeah to build off of what he said he's right like burnout is a real thing you can think that you're making loads and loads of progress but it's a diminishing effect like the more and more you do it the less and less motivated you do get when you're doing the same thing over and over again and when things go wrong over and over again yeah you want to get the car done but then you're just going to get more irate and just annoyed but the important thing for me i would say is just talking to other people about it and not just thinking yeah i'm responsible for this area but talking to another member of the area having a fresh set of eyes and even just talking about it and just yeah yeah like when you can like when you communicate like just saying it out loud and not keeping it to yourself the problem might fall out or at least if it's not then you'll at least talk it out loud and you'll feel a bit better that it's not just you who's holding the problem because it is, it is a team at the end of the day and you're trying to all get the same objective which is get the car here and do as well as you can. So Formula Student is a high performance experience and an atmosphere. Teams want to work really really hard to achieve their goals but you have to be mindful of how you achieve this you won't be successful if you're all burnt out as a team. So what I do is that I take very regular breaks. I make sure that I eat well, stay hydrated, take exercise when you can, and really look after each other as a team member. You know, if you see somebody that seems a bit quiet today, maybe ask them if they're all right. You know, ask if there's anything that you can do to help them. And you know, you can really stick together as a team. And if you all support each other, then you will do better at, at competition and you will become more successful. 
Right, during the competition you're going to have some setbacks and you're going to be disappointed. It's important to not only look at yourself, but look at the team, man. Look at what everyone is doing, be proud of the things that you've done and make sure that everyone is happy. If you're being disappointed, make sure that you don't show it. Make sure that you keep everyone in a good vibe and keep everything, everything nice and positive. So, so one of the difficulties with me, with, with the stress involved with it, trying to manage everything as, as a team leader, is, is it is so stressful and the amount of hours that you have to dedicate to it is incredible. And, and for me, managing the stress proved quite difficult in some, t in some points. And, and talking about it with my, my family, my partner especially, uh, being there to support me has helped quite a lot. And understanding the cognitive side of it as well and managing to communicate with my team just in the pits, that is... Uh, you have to be open about it and if you do have an issue you need to try and tell them if, even if it's a small one because I, in my opinion I work it up and I work it up and I get stressed about it so openness honesty and the willingness to try and cooperate in a team even if it even if someone doesn't want to hear it you know to try and be constructive over it really helps it really does so my day job in itself is very, very stressful and I've somehow over the past few years managed to juggle working in F1, which is a high pressure environment, along with uh, being Chief Scrutineer and Chief Judge for the IMACI and at the same time completing a part-time uh, Master's degree in automotive, uh, automotive engineering. So what's key to managing your uh, uh, stress levels and keeping on top of your mental health through that is you need to be kind to yourself, you need to look after yourself first and look out for those triggers of when you're approaching burnout. You are going to have to make some priority calls over what is the thing, things that you're going to have to drop and what is the most important thing. And so for me, number one has to be the day job um, and then uh, the degree in FS, it's the balance, uh, balance between those two. And there's a lot of hours in a week and it's very easy to sit there these days scrolling on your phone or flicking through YouTube. But if you actually map out a rough plan for each week, you don't need to timetable everything down. But if you've got a rough idea, what do I need to achieve this week? Roughly, when are we going to do that? And if you stick to that, you'll find there's still lots of time in your week for what you need to do with your, with your, uh, your hobbies or what you need to do to uh, uh, relax and unwind. And for me, that's a mixture of uh, uh, through COVID, I discovered that I love running and being able to get out just go and hit the trails, run for half an hour, 40 minutes. It's, it's good for keeping you fit, but at the same time, what that actually does, they say healthy, healthy body, healthy mind. And uh, yeah, I've found that so, so true. I think it's important to make sure you maintain a team spirit. Um, there were a lot of moments where uh, individuals were getting stressed and it was important for the rest of the team members to make sure that they weren't getting in their way or were overcomplicating things, so giving them space so they can resolve the issues at hand. Um, because you try and rush things and then more issues come about so make sure that you understand everyone's personal way of working and they, so then they can resolve the things that they, they understand how to resolve them best and then it would benefit the team overall because you're ensuring that you gain the best out of everyone um, so yeah that would, that's what I would say. Yeah no, I, it's always tough to inform a student particularly coming out of Covid um, I think for us as a team we struggled with a lot of handover we had lots of new MSc people come in um, to kind of like absorb the knowledge when we didn't really have much support so it was quite difficult on that end but we were resi resilient as a team and we pulled together and made sure we're like accountable on each other but also friendly to make sure we're being hospitable so that, that kind of made the mental vibes of it better yeah yeah so form shoot is a really stressful experience i remember a few times in my in my years where i thought oh this, is, this isn't going my way um what can i possibly do to remedy it um thinking about the competition coming up the key thing for me is just um, having that time alone to myself you know if you've got something coming up on the weekends that you've been looking forward to a while I, I would always do it and plan my time around that I think the key thing for me is planning the things I want to do in my life and then fitting things around that building around that personally I don't think I have I have been kind of helping the team this year I'm, I'm, it's not really my project it will be next year um, but there were times where it seemed like the team was quite stressed. Obviously, we uh, took a few times at scrutineering to get through it and a few different um, safety checks. So, uh, yeah, it was just trying to keep the team motivated, just try to get through it, try to kind of change the members, make sure everyone did a little bit of work on the car and, yeah, just keep them out of the sun more than anything. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, one thing that kind of comes to my mind, I, it wasn't actually me, but I know a lot of our team members had a lot of late nights coming up to this competition, especially in the few days before we left. And they were kind of sitting there thinking, oh, I don't know if we're going to get hired on. But they persevered through it and they came here and they really enjoyed every single second. So I think, I know there's hard times for a lot of people where they might think they might have messed up or it won't go well and they'll come to competition, it'll be a waste of time. But really just, you know, persevere through it all come here I and mean, if things don't go to plan there's always the seconds have another way to do things so just keep calm persevere and you'll enjoy it in the end so one of the things I would say about stress is it can have positive effects sometimes a little bit of stress in your life sharpens your senses gives you some focus gives you some drive those all-nighters that we've pulled you know they can they can really help sometimes but what you need to know is it's not sustainable. You can't sustain that for large amounts of period of time. You can't sustain it for more than maybe a day or two. After that, it starts having a negative effect and negative consequences. And you might not recognize that straight away, but it will manifest in different ways and in different ways in different people as well. The signs aren't the same for everyone. And it's really important you recognize that for other members in your team, but also recognize it in yourself as well you probably know yourself better than anybody else so are you starting to withdraw from crowds are you starting to not engage with people are you quieter in conversations do you feel tired do you wake up tired these are all signs that stress are beginning to have a negative effect on your life you have a duty to yourself to do something about that to seek help to change the way that you're doing things now that might be as simple as getting more sleep having some more downtime taking some exercise it might also manifest in the way in which you need to get professional help you need to go out and see a counselor or any other means or somebody that you can talk to in a structured way there is no shame in this and in fact it's a fantastic way of becoming a better more productive person universities employers now are actively providing these sort of services and if you're at university you've already paid for it seek them out use them you will become more effective as a person if you are talking to a counselor not just when you're stressed as well but also as a as a way to keep topping up whether you're going in the right direction and you're mentally strong formula student will be an assault on your senses it will test you to your limits you will be shattered at the end of the formula student event because you will have put everything into it but the most important thing is is we want it to enhance your life not take away from it so therefore you've got to make sure that you are as effective and unstressed and you've got to make sure that the teams and the people around you are being healthy and effective as well so really look out for each other reach out when there's a need and just try and make sure that you can keep that 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 mental competency on a level and that yes there'll be times when you have to push it to finish projects but also make sure that you don't drop afterwards and you keep a consistent approach to it and i think that's ultimately the best advice i can give you for a being successful at formula student and b being successful when you go out into your careers as well good luck